this video we're going to show you the H3J C200 controller controlling only Wirecast. So in this case we are controlling just Wirecast. So what you see on the screen is here's Wirecast. Here's our application that is the bridge between this and Wirecast. And one thing that you're going to notice, and you will see this when you go through the software, is we see the thing counting right there, the record timer. And when you hit record in Wirecast, that timer starts. In addition to that timer starting, this whatever button you have on your controller, if you if you want a button on your controller um, to do it, will be goes to turn on. So in our case, this LED button right up here is turned on because we are recording. So what we have done is we programmed this software that's up here to what each button does. So the way it works with Wirecast is this controller needs to know, doesn't need to know anything except where this software is located, what it's the IP address. So basically, what is the IP address of your Wirecast machine? The only other option you have is you can set these priorities as to what, what switcher is the tally indicator. So in our case, the tally indicator priority is Wirecast because it's the only thing we have checked in the configuration. So we get that tally back from Wirecast. So I will say that the, the Wirecast tally information isn't as robust as some other switchers. So we are making some educated guesses. If you're using the physical switcher, the tally will be perfectly fine. And in most cases, when you're moving things around uh, inside of Wirecast, you'll be fine too. But there are the occasions that it might not exactly be because in Wirecast, we can set up a scene or a, a shot, basically these are the equivalent of shots, to be have a lower third in addition to um, like one of these. So we can we can pick a particular input and a lower third. In fact, that's exactly what happens right now. You see that we're on uh, my shot. That takes it off. So that particular shot's configured to not have a lower third on it. And that's all done in this configuration of the software. So in the case where I go to a particular shot, depending on what is on depends on what this what our software thinks is currently live or in preview. So like I said, there's not an exact science to how Wirecast does its tally, but we're, we're pretty good at guessing. If you're using just this controller with something else, or you're using our uh, keyboard interface to our software, you'll be perfectly fine all the time because we know what you're trying to do based on um, what we've done. But if you're in here in Wirecast, moving things around and clicking on things, you can get some different results uh, in the tally interface. So hopefully that's fixed in a, in a future uh, release of Wirecast. But the way it is right now is we can use this controller to change to all the different inputs that we have using the physical controller. We can put things in uh, in preview if we want. See right there, I'll just put five in the preview and there's four in the preview. So I can put all these things in the preview just like I would on a typical switcher and have the uh, the cut and the go work just fine. So this is basically the hardware switcher now controlling your software switcher. Now in this case of the C200, it comes with a T-bar. The T-bar doesn't do you any good in Wirecast, at least not currently. Not to say that it might not do something in the future, but as it is currently, this T-bar is, is a little bit useless, which is why we came out with the C100. And we're talking about coming out with a C200 minus the T-bar, so we haven't announced anything like that yet, but it's a definitely a possibility because the C100 doesn't have this row up top. So if this is your special functions row and doesn't have these buttons right here. So you get your you can get enough space for uh, the cut or the go. In, in this case, it's go um, and two extra buttons and then these. So we do think there is a need for a more, a larger controller with more buttons minus the T-bar. And uh, it will probably be exactly like this, just minus the T-bar. So that is the H3J C200 controlling Wirecast.